Okay. So this is uh, from A Course in Miracles, What is Salvation? So salvation is a promise made by God that you will find your way to him at last. It cannot but be kept. It guarantees that the time will have that it guarantees that time will have an end. So at at uh, full salvation, even time will end. So even time will cease to exist and will no, uh, no longer be identified with. <clears throat> uh, God's word is given every to every mind which thinks that it has separate thoughts and will replace these thoughts of conflict with the thought of peace. The thought of peace was given to God's son the instant his mind had thought of war. There was no need for such a thought before, for peace was given without opposite, and merely was. So I think that's very, I should make a comment. Um, peace was given without opposite. You know, uh, a lot of the teachers, I mean, uh, Hawkins, my, my teacher, Dr. Hawkins, teaches non-devotional, uh, non-duality, you know, um, to experience the presence of God without duality, or that would be another way of saying salvation or enlightenment, that there is no opposite, there is no this or that, there is no me experiencing time, uh, there is no me experiencing uh, resistance or opposition, to the universe. All dualities have ceased to exist. Um, but when the minds, when the mind is split, there is a need of healing. This is what I call uh, my view with the course is, is healing the separation anxiety that we all experience, uh, most of us experience, not if you're enlightened, you don't experience separation anxiety, of experiencing separation or individuality, or that there is a me and that there is a you, and that there is a God, and, you know, all, I mean, uh, the idea of identification with a separate self, with a personal self, which then creates uh, a me in reference to the world, in relation to others, and rela in relation to God. So the thought that has the power to heal the split became a part of every fragment of the mind that still was one. So I would say, um, in truth, in absolute truth, probably is a better way to say, that there has never been separation. It's an illusion, or as some people say, it's a dream. You know, um, in a dream of all of us being in separation, relating to us as separate selves in, in separation. So that dream has, uh, seems to have become real for those who are in separation or in this world. Um, now, that thought what has the power to heal the split, uh, the split became a part of every fragment of the mind that was one, but failed to recognize its oneness. So, you know, part of salvation is at first, the initial stage is to recognize our oneness. Now it did not know itself and thought its own identity was lost. Salvation is undoing in the sense that it does nothing, failing to support the world of dreams and malice. Okay, so salvation is undoing. Uh, it does nothing. Well, in truth, um, unless, you, unless there's identification with the ego, you could say if all identification and all uh, hooking in to the separate self ceased and nothing happened to sort of uh, hook in to the sense of separation, that is the, that is the nothingness of, of infinite presence. You know, there is no doer trying to think or hook or whatever. Even if the hooking or identification is unconscious, it's still occurring. There's still that tendency of the ego to hook into time, into thoughts, into the body, and experience separation. So by not, uh, so um, the salvation is undoing in the sense that it does nothing, failing to support the world of dreams and malice. Thus it lets illusions go. By not supporting them, it merely lets them quietly go down to dust. And what they hid is now revealed, an altar to the holy name of God, whereon his word is written, with the gifts of your forgiveness laid before it, and the memory of God not far behind. Let us come daily to this holy place and spend a while together. Here we share our final dream. It is a dream in which there is no sorrow, for it holds a hint of all the glory given us by God. 
The grass is pushing through the soil, the trees are budding now, and birds have come to live within their branches. That for me sounds uh, very mystical. Uh, and that's, I mean, but I would say in my view that that is the truth. Um, those who are avatars, the likes of Jesus, Buddha, Krishna, um, I'm absolutely sure the rivers were, being, the birds were singing all around them, that bliss and that light and that power and the power of love um, that would shine through all of creation. Uh, and I do believe it also has uh, the power to affect even the, the, um, uh, the physicality, you know, the clouds, the rain, the worlds, the rivers. Um, if I can just quickly share, you know, there was once um, where I was starting to have mystical experiences after my near-death spiritual experience. I really love pigeons after looking after a baby pigeon. And I was walking down a road. It was, um, it was uh, Great Portland Street, yes. And it was raining heavily. And I looked up. And there on a, on a window ledge was a scruffy pigeon. I looked at it like, you know, it probably needs some food. It's probably miserable uh, and, and the rain. And I, as I looked at it, and there was a lot of love in my heart for that scra uh, scraggy pigeon, as they are in central London. And suddenly the clouds, uh, the clouds, st it st stopped raining. And it was like a, uh, a beam of light came and shone, shone on the area that we were in. It was, it was absolutely mystical. And I looked at that pigeon. I I think I can remember it, but I, yes, I did. I brought out my pigeon food. I always carry it with me and look, looked at it and psychically tried to, I can sometimes psychically speak to, connect with pigeons. I looked at it, put the food down and it came down and flew and eat. You know, the, the rain had stopped and a beam of sun had come down. So that is mystical. You know, it's very mystical. So, so the grass is pushing through the soil. The trees are budding now and birds have come to live within their branches. Earth is being born again in new perspective. Night has gone and we have come together in the light. I had a, I had a profound uh, spiritual experience with an enlightened teacher. And indeed, when you're in the mystical experience, even the, the world is seen in absolute, uh, absolute light and glory. So from here, we uh, give salvation to the world. For it is here salvation was received. The song of our rejoicing is the call to all the world that freedom is returned. That time is almost over, and God's Son has but an instant more to wait until his Father is remembered. Dreams are done, and eternity has shined away the world, and only heaven now exists at all. Yes, that, that uh, reminds me of my white light spiritual experience. So um, where even all the world <clears throat> disappeared, and there was an infinite power, love and grace and bliss beyond even the existence of a world of thought or separation. So um, the sun has but an instant more to wait. So time is now finishing until the father, his father is remembered. Dreams are done. Uh, eternity has shined away the world and only heaven now exists at all. So that's the uh, infinite non-dual realm. Uh, that's my, anyway, that's my take. I really love that lesson and anything that reminds me of that infinite light um, is, be is beautiful. Okay, so I'm now going to stop recording.